today is getting the best sound out the Godad. And uh, one or two wee things you can do, at least to try and improve the sound of playing an island pizza electric guitar. Uh, now, for this demonstration, again, this is all subjective. This is just what I think. I'm sure you meet your own thoughts, no matter. But what I've noticed through the years is guys playing the, the Godad especially, and very good guitar players, in many cases much better than me, the sound I hear from is not as good as I know how good the Godan can sound. You can take a wee bit of time and maybe change one or two wee things, or more to the point, you're more aware of one or two things. So what I'm going to do, rather than use my, my high-end Shetler, which is my best, I love that thing, I'm going to use one of the new Boss Katanas. And uh, what, I've read the internet's using them just now, but they've used them for like the electric guitars. They get great sounds from it. But I heard somebody one time play it through the, uh, the clean channel and then the acoustic channel and I thought that sounds not half bad. Anyhow, I got one. I got one with a 12 inch speaker just to give me a wee bit more bass. And I was really pleasantly surprised for what you pay for one of these and the sounds you're getting is really, really good. Really good. Uh, as I said, something I advise you to check out. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about is the settings. So I'm not using any fancy gear. All I'm using is a guitar straight into the guitar. A wee bit of reverb. Now, how I've got it set, I like to set an amplifier by the way, then just leave it and especially the go down, do everything from the guitar. So, what I've done there is I put the bass round about three o'clock, same with the middle, because you've got to remember this is a thin guitar and it's getting amplified from here. You're not like to get beautiful bass resonance, so that's one of the things you're compensating for. So, as I say, I put the bass in the middle round about three o'clock and have the treble bang on at 12 o'clock, then that's it, I don't touch it. Then we'll go in the go down. As you know, the slider here, down here, that's for control when you're running with synth, which I'm not doing today. This one's the volume, then your bass, treble and tone. <coughs> now, what, again, what I've done, it's just a wee bit up, quite a wee bit up from the middle, the tone position on the bass and on the middle. But the treble, I've got it bang on 12 o'clock, because that's the one I'm going to worry about all the time when I'm playing. If I have to move anything, it's going to be this treble control. And again, there's two different scenarios you get, guys. You get when you're playing on your own or you're recording something on your own, or maybe it's just you accompanying a singer, and you can really do things to your heart's content. But when you're playing with other musicians, and this is where the sort of quackiness comes in, the, the hard sound, you tend to push the treble, and some guitarists just back the treble right up, and that's when it sounds just politely not so good. So I'll show you some of the things that I sort of do to try and uh, combat that, combat that, but whatever. This, by the way, this switch in the go down, which I'm sure you're familiar with, I play it different every time I play it. Just now, you know, it's, it splits the frequency. Just now I'm playing it in up position, I like the tone of it, but next week I might have it in the down position. That's subjective, it's just whatever you think. But it's these EQs here, that's your whole thing, that's the one you're going to concentrate on. So bass up, about three quarters of the way up, middle three quarters of the way up, treble in a 12 o'clock position, but that's the one I might move. So. When I'm a gig and I'm playing with other musicians, that's the only one I concentrate on because the amplifier's already set. Now, as you saw me play just a wee bit there, and although I'm using a, a, my right hand here, it's the same uh, principle with a plectrum. I'll maybe play a wee bit in the plectrum, although I'm not a great plectrum, but just to uh, give you an idea of what we're talking about. It's basically, wait, there's two things that can change your tone. Number one, as we've talked about before, it's where you're actually playing the strings. As I say, I'm using my right hand, moving up and down. It's the same thing with a plectrum. So if I need a more sort of brighter sound, like I was playing something and it needed that high E to come out, I would tend to maybe use a right hand to come down near the bridge. And being an iron sync player, you can actually change the attack that you're using with your nails. And the plectrum is the exact same thing. I've seen really good plectrum players just for the attack, the angle of the plectrum, they can do it. And in other words, I'm trying to do as much as I can not to move this, trying to leave this set, although it would bring up the treble if I absolutely had to. So, so say I was doing a run, and uh, like say the E was a pedal note. Just for a basic chord, uh, it drops in like this. to try and bring the tone out and the other thing I'm doing is you're actually changing your vibrato instead of using like the vibrato like a rock guitarist would do it you're actually really need to change it to, to like a, 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 how a classical player would do it 
it's not big, uh, not, no bother whatsoever. All you do is, so it's you're hitting that area. Instead of just hitting it, clanging at it, you're trying to get the bass sound, it's just a wee bit sideways vibrato. to all the notes you're playing and try and use your right hand as much as possible to try and get a sort of uh, use that to get the tone say for example I'll play a wee bit of manual to carry on <laughs> Sometimes you see me making a fool of self, playing with my eyes shut. I'm trying to listen to what I want to do, and every time I hear the sound, I'm going, no, that's not it. But that's why I'm doing it. I'm just trying to hear all the time, so that's not what I want. That's a bit better. And it's not always where I'm putting my, my, my right hand. It's how you're attacking the note. So then I'm getting quite a bright sound, just be changing the attack of my nails, or you could do it with a plectrum. And I'm still in the middle position rather than coming up here. Once where he actually had the pizza on the saddle, and that was that was really that was a big improvement. And then of course everything's getting better, you get better, better retro, electronics. Uh, the one I like playing a lot is my Ramirez, uh, and that's a killer. But how and the way I, you'll see me pick up the go down more is I love the freedom this neck. It's great fun for me playing up here, which you, you can do in uh, a classical shape style guitar, but it's not as much fun and it's not as much. In the, and, the other reason, as I say, these the Godans are extremely well made, and I just want to try and make the point, and that's why I'm doing these, that the tones are in the Godan. If you just take a wee bit more time over it, you know. <laughs> Anyway, I managed to do all that without touching 
to my treble control at all, right? But it's not easy. I keep saying this. The one thing you have to be aware of when you're playing this style, to get the best sound, you have to think what you're doing, listen to what you're doing, and really work at it, really care about the sound that you're making, not just hammer out. And again, that was just straight the guitar right in to the, the <coughs> what you call it, the boss, which was a great sound. If I was doing a recording or something like that, in real life, I would run this through my Boss Acoustic Simulator, and uh, you could add a lot more with highs and lows and better reverb, more natural sounds, but that would take ages to set up, which is fine if I was doing a recording, or if I was doing what I'm something get asked to do, I come from a singer, so I could muck about it to my heart's content. But the odds are you may get a shout, because you come down, play some guitar with us in the band or whatever, uh, with other musicians, and then it's just the guitar amp, so the tone, really depends on you. You know what people put their fingers in their ears when it's your turn to play the melody line. So that's that's about it guys. All I'm saying is it's definitely there, can be done. It just takes a wee bit of thought and the good Godan is such a good guitar, especially this one, Motac Nylon, it's really, really worth taking a wee bit of time with it. All the tones are there. <laughs> guys. I hope that was a wee bit informative and helpful and uh, I'll catch you later on. So thanks for that. Bye. Mm -hmm.